everyone, this is the Only Disney Stars production, youtube.com slash Only Disney Stars. So just to let you guys know, I changed my Disney Stars fan site to Only Disney Stars. And the P stands for production. So, so yeah. And today I'll be showing you a tutorial that I just found out. It's really cool. Um, you get to create your own beam. And then you can use it as a brush over and over again. So it's really cool. And I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is in this gray selected area, you're just going to right click new. And you're going to do your, your width 600. And your height 800. And sorry for the wishing sound. I don't know, it always does that every time. But anyways, so you're going to select your ellipse and you're going to make your circle and it's up to you how you want to make it. I usually like to start it like halfway outside of the thing, the square, so you could just start it like this. But it's up to you. I'll just start it like this for, for this time. Um, okay, so you're gonna right click, just do it in the center. Right click, stroke and fill. Do it pretty thick. Um, I'll do it at 8. And I'll just change the color to that blue. Okay, then you're gonna drag that same circle. Wow, I zoomed in too much. You're gonna drag that circle and make sure it fits in between like in the middle of this line like, be like right here so right click stroke and fill and just click enter and just drag the same thing over right click stroke and fill enter right click stroke and fill enter drag it down right click stroke and fill enter and you know what, I'm just going to do this little last piece right here just in case. Right click, stroke and fill, enter. And hide selection. Remember to always hide selection. Okay, then I'm going to show you this neat trick on how to do it perfectly. So you're going to select the polygon, your polygon tool. And you're going to zoom in the picture. And you're going to start deleting off like one side of the image. So let's say you're going to take away this part out right here. So I'm just going to go around because you're not going to take this one out. You're going to take this one out. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but I think once you see it, you'll understand it. So you're just going to create your own beam. And I tried to do not to do it so complicated because I wanted you guys to not get bored of watching this because I know some of my tutorials could get boring because they're super long ok then you're going to zoom out and so you have this one selected this one and this one so I messed up so right click new and just press ok then go to edit define pattern and then you're going to go here make sure it's the same color right then you're going to click clone stamp tool, check pattern, and change your radius to 100, and then you're just going to delete. So you're just going to go over so it erases all the blue lines. Okay. Hide selection and make sure it's all perfect. See, look, right here I kind of missed a spot. There. Okay, now I'm going to go back and do the same thing to the other side. So, I'm going to work on...
See now that you have this side, you're gonna click. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Make sure it's fully deleted, so it looks like a bean. And you're just gonna select it, right click stroke and fill, and just do another stroke. Oh, one's fine. And then hide selection. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your image. So I have this Ashley and Vanessa one. And I already edited it over how I wanted it. So I'm just gonna go to edit to define pattern. So I define it I find this pattern. Then you're gonna copy and select a color. So I don't I'm sure you guys know know how to use brushes. So I'm just gonna use this hot this pink one and then click here edit paste special mask so you might want to do that so you have a transparent beam but if you don't because you know some people are very picky on what they want you can just select your magic wand tool here select the blue part copy and paste so I'm just going to use this form for now. Right click, validate, paste. Then you're going to select your magic wand tool, select the purple or blue or whatever, and you're going to go to filter, stylize, progressive contour, and check this the color you want. I usually do white. I like how white looks, I just don't know why. Okay, so, okay. I selection, see how it looks, it looks nice. You can blur it out if you want. That's up to you. I don't want to show you all these effects now. And since you already have your pattern, you're going to select your... Well, you can just do this. Make the radius less. Should I go like 33? I don't want to do too much here. And there's your professional bee. So you can just take this picture as um, as a mask, and then you could just select it, and then right-click, copy, paste it here. You could even change the color of the blue. I mean, it's not like you have to keep it. So you could just like right-click, stroke, and oh snap! Right-click, stroke, and fill, and then you could just change, uncheck it, just stroke it, and do like hot pink or whatever. You know, but you can do that later. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. So hope you guys liked my informative tutorial. This is the only Disney Stars production. Bye.